What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known Alright people we turn into a flower. Yeah you know when I say so, yeah, that means I'm going to have a little ramble. Absolutely. So I have been trying to film my intro and my outro for this video for the last 30 minutes. And I can't seem to remember how to talk. So that's why I'm a little bit miffed. Anyway. So I'm going to lighten up my mood so you will want to watch this video. So let's get on with it. Hello everyone, it's Michelle. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. And as you can tell from the title of the video, this is going to be another Valentine's Day lip swatch video. Yes. And I don't know why I don't know why I'm saying another Valentine's Day lip swatch video cuz I don't think I actually dedicated a red lip swatch video in honor of Valentine's Day. I've done plenty of makeup looks for Valentine's Day. Yes, I'll say that. But I this is the first time I'm actually doing a dedicated lip swatch video in honor of Valentine's Day. Yes! Yay! So anyway, these are my top why do i keep wanting to say top favorite that was so two years ago anyway if you don't know what the heck i'm talking about yes i've done two separate favorite red lipsticks of the moment a couple of years back i called them my top favorites i think the first video i did was a mixture of high-end and drugstore and then i think the second video i did was all drugstore red lipsticks both videos were dedicated to my current favorite red lipsticks of the moment back in 2018, I believe. So today's video is 2021's favorite red lipsticks for Valentine's Day. I got it out. I can't believe it. After about 30 minutes, I finally remembered how to talk. All right. So these are all high-end lipsticks. I've worn them in, I've worn them in a few videos either on this channel or my true crime channel but i don't think i've lip swatched any of these so these are all brand new i've had them sitting in my collection some of them as you can tell when i hold them up i haven't used them yet and some of them you can tell i have used but i don't think i've hauled them or even told you about them so there are some in here that are limited edition i tried to keep it down to two they have limited edition packaging and one is limited edition and I don't think they have, I don't think this particular brand sells this color any longer, but there are plenty of dupes at the drugstore or at Sephora for this one that I will show you a little bit later. So before I keep rambling and talking about basically nothing, let's go ahead and rewind back to the beginning and let's get started. Time. We fell right into each other Couldn't pull myself away And I know love is blind So reputation didn't matter It doesn't matter, does it, babe? But I've always got this feeling in the back of my mind That you'll find someone else and then you'll leave me behind Y'all going out and I won't be sleeping at night It's harder than I make it look I guess that's why had them before i met you so scared you break my heart i've never been a girl who is paranoid got feelings that i can't avoid don't know where i got them i guess that's why they call them trust issues Something that's never happened It's never happened as it plays So tell me why, oh why I'm making nothing in this something I'm gonna end up pushing you away But I've always got this feeling in the back of my mind That you'll find someone else and then you'll leave me behind Y'all going out and I won't be sleeping at night It's harder than I make it look I guess 
that's why they call them trust issues Cause I never, never had them before I met you So scared you break my heart I've never been a girl who is paranoid Got feelings that I can't avoid Don't know where I got them I guess that's why they call them trust issues Trust issues
it's been a while, been a while, been a while since I've seen your face in it. Been a while, been a while, been a while since I've known what to say, but it's getting nervous for getting words in a speaking circles. Trying to keep myself from saying, Remember last year, messing around, we were so loud, and no try to kick us out. And I could never really lie to you. So uh, I'm trying not to hide the truth Oh, I've been dreaming oh, I've been scheming I hoped you'd be here I hate that I love you Ooh, Ignore the history I know you miss me I hate to love me too Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I hate that I love you I'm taking time I'm taking time I'm taking time Taking me too much dance I'm Trying to find the reason I shouldn't dive back into your life Cause I'm a little selfish and you're so jealous and you embellish just enough to keep me honest To be honest, we were flawless and if we wanted We'd pick it up from where we started I can never really lie to you So I, I'm trying not to hide the truth or I've been dreaming or I've been scheming I hoped you'd be here I hate that I love you I know you miss me, I hate to love me too ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I hate that I love you ooh, Ignore the history, I know you miss me, I hate to love me too ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I hate that I love you I've been dreaming, I've been scheming I hoped you'd be here, I hate that I love you video i hope you enjoyed it yes i love red lipsticks i am a huge sucker for red lipsticks i can go to a store and zero in on a red lipstick that i don't have i'm telling you i can tell the difference between one brand's red lipstick either drugstore or high-end and know that i don't have that color 
So my husband thinks they all look the same. I don't think they look the same, but you tell me after you watch 15 lip swatches of nothing but red lipsticks. Some are matte, some are creamy, and some are sheer. So we have three different formulas. And uh, hold on, I'll count how many different brands and I'll be right back. All right, so we have seven different brands, 15 different lipsticks, and three different formulas. Yep, wow, gee, I was really kind of uh, jamming it all into one video, wasn't I? So before I keep rambling, I just want to show you a few of, they're all my favorite, absolutely. I wear them all the time. Some I haven't even worn yet, and I've had them for months. So I was dying to try them, and what better way to do it than to tear up my lips doing a lip swatch video. Yep, because it's, um, it's not the lipsticks that make your lips hurt and fry your lips. It is the makeup wipe. And I've tried several different makeup wipes, but the more lip swatches you do, the worse your lips start to feel. Now, my lips don't feel as bad as when I did my Milani lip swatch video, and those wipes were my favorite, and my lips were burning at the end. So for today, I ran out of my favorite makeup wipes, and I was using, I'm not going to say the brand because I don't want to, you know, shade the brand anymore because uh, I, I keep these around to wipe swatches off my hands, but since we are, you know, in the middle of a, YouTube doesn't like that word, but I'll say in the middle of the virus that shall not be named, I don't feel comfortable swatching them on my hands. Even if I were to run and wash my hands and come back, how do I know that I have gotten any sort of bacteria or whatever off my hands and then I go ahead and swatch them all the way down my arm and then you know god forbid something happens so that's why I haven't usually you'll see it on my hands when I lip swatch and, or you'll usually you'll see it on my lips when I lip swatch and then sometimes I will swatch them on my wrist but like I said it's not safe so anyway, still rambling, but these wipes I do not like, but my lips, yes, they're fried, but they're not as fried as last time. Okay, that was a really long way of getting to the point, wasn't it? And then you saw me uh, lip swatch. This is by NARS. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. I believe I did haul this a couple of hauls back. This is in the limited edition packaging. It's in the shade Rita. And as you, I'll show you the lip swatch again. It is a gorgeous, beautiful red lipstick. It is a warmer red. Love it. So this past Christmas, they came out with the limited edition gold packaging. I had to get it because I'm a sucker for packaging. But normally it comes in the black packaging. And what I love about these lipsticks is they have a magnet. I think that is so cool. I just love that. So normally it comes in the black packaging, and as you can tell, it's got the magnet. So yes, I do have two of these, but I am a sucker for the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, and I'm a sucker for packaging, and that little magnet thing just gets me every time. So you did see me haul, I think in the last haul with the NARS lipstick. This is by Givenchy, and do I have the box? Because I can't remember the name. This is the Le Rouge Night Noir, and this is in the shade 02 Night in Red. So these I love. The packaging is just gorgeous on these. I love it. None of this glitter comes off, so you don't have to worry about getting it inside of your handbag or on your hands or anything like that. But this is a beautiful blackened red. It does have some micro glitters in it and I could kind of feel it feel them on my lips but with Pat McGrath's uh, Blitz Trance lipsticks they are a little more um, opaque in color and you can sort of feel the micro glitters in those as well but I love this because it's really sheer it is a blackened sort of burgundy red I love this it looks amazing it would look pro it would look better with a not so ham version of what I have going on right now. Maybe even just a to just totally matte eyeshadows on the eye, and then you can just use this to have your lips nice and glossy. 
Anyway, so these are the Pat McGrath lipsticks. I love them. Elson, these, these are the matte trance lipsticks. So Elson is one of my favorite matte red shades. I love this sucker. Uh, it, it is absolutely wonderful. And I love, I'm digging the red and gold packaging. Red is my absolute favorite color. Love that. So by the way, these two shades are both in the permanent collection. They, they are not, they come in the black and gold packaging. These are the, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. This is the holiday packaging. So the second one I lip swatch for you is Vendetta. I love Vendetta. Gosh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous deep dark red. It is wonderful. One of my favorites. So these are Tom Ford lipsticks. I love the Tom Ford lipsticks. They are so amazing. They are, they are totally worth the money. They are super, super, super expensive. These lipsticks are 50 bucks. Yes, I'm kind of holding back telling you that they were 50 bucks. But, you know, if you look up the price, they are 50 bucks for his lipsticks. So I believe I have five shades and three of them are red. And then two of them are a deep, dark black and purple. I love that. Those are my two favorite shades to wear. Love it. I'll show you these really fast. I have Ruby Rush. Gorgeous. Now, Ruby Rush is one of my favorite reds from Tom Ford. It is absolutely beautiful. I think I got it last Christmas. I love it. And then the one in the gold packaging, don't worry because this lipstick is in his permanent collection, but this was his Christmas packaging from last year. And as you can tell, I am such a sucker for gold packaging right i love that gold and red are probably my two favorite colors that go together anyway so this shade is scarlet rouge i believe that says number 16. this is a beautiful shade i love this so so much it is wonderful it's gorgeous it's very sheer it's a lot sheer than uh any of the lipsticks i showed you in fact it's probably as sheer as the Urban Decay. It really is. So I love it because I can just whip this on, throw it on, don't have to worry about using a lip liner, and head out the door. It's wonderful. Love that. And the last lipstick I have is, in, is by Tom Ford, and it's in the black packaging. It's a matte black. As you can see, all his lipsticks have the TF logo on top. And then of course it has the label with the name. This one, as you have seen, as I was lip swatching, I had to uh, sort of redact some letters because it's a cuss word. So it is number FF01 effing fabulous. So, but it's actually spelled out, boom, you know, the F word. So I kind of thought that was really odd. I have never seen a company actually put cuss words as the name of any, uh, you know, makeup product. So I was kind of intrigued at the same time because I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So this is still for sale, I believe on Sephora's website and the Tom Ford website, or you could prop, you can get Tom Ford at Neiman Marcus and maybe Nordstrom's and Saks probably as well. Any high-end department store is probably gonna have Tom Ford. All right, everybody, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Also remember to hit the post notification bell down below so you'll be notified of all of my videos in the future. I thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. I'll see you later, everyone. Ciao, bye-bye.